This is a quarter inch paint mixer. It fits right into my drill and helps me stir glazes, slip, and plaster. Sometimes when I first open up my slip bucket, there's a thin watery layer on top. You want to get rid of that. Make sure you stir your slip thoroughly so it's a pure consistency. I usually dip with a smaller pitcher and pour it into a one gallon pitcher that has a sieve on it. Using a sieve is a must when slip casting. This is a 60 mesh sieve. It filters out anything that's bigger than a quarter of a millimeter or 0.01 inches. If there's dirt or debris or twigs or leaves from mixing your slip outside, this 60 mesh sieve will take care of it. Be sure you dump out the debris when you clean it in the water bucket. We're gonna pour a few different plaster molds that I've made over the years. This is a small eight ounce faceted vessel. This is another one just like it. These are some rounded drinking glasses. These are some small shot glasses for espresso or liquor. And these are some other smaller vessels I've made over the years. You're gonna to wanna to pick up a set of these bottles online. They're usually used for ketchup, but I like to have about four on hand to fill with slip when topping off my molds. As the plaster mold sucks water out of the slip, the water level in each mold will go down. This is why we need to top off each cast every few minutes. These small plastic bottles are perfect for topping off. You'll notice the plaster mold is actually changing color. It's a little bit darker around that mold cavity where the slip is. This is because that plaster mold is actually wet there from soaking the water out of the slip. After about 15 or 20 minutes, or when you've reached your desired wall thickness for your vessel, we'll pour the excess slip back into the slip bucket. I like to wait until it stops dripping altogether and then flip it back over and let it sit flat. The next step is that we wait for the slip to dry to the touch inside the plaster mold. Air in our environment, as well as the plaster from the mold, is gonna to continue to suck water out of the piece. Depending on your environment, about 15 to 20 minutes more, you'll be able to lift it out of the mold. My first step is I wiggle it around a little bit. There needs to be a slight crack all around the rim before you can lift it out. If you don't see the slip separating from the plaster wall, it's not ready to come out. Most of these vessels here are hand-thrown. Casting hand-thrown vessels allows you to reproduce identical copies of the original vessel. All you need to do is cast the same shape over and over again, then place those leather hard casts onto your clay filled lid for the bucket mold. It's the exact same process we did in an earlier chapter, except you're using a leather hard vessel instead of an already fired or a commercial vessel. This is a sample lesson from my new course on making pottery mugs. To find out more, go to mugsaremoney.com or click the link in the description below.